Hey, how the fuck are you, horror fans? Galactic Criminal here with a reaction video for you. So today I wanted to do a horror short film. I've done a few uh, short films on this channel, most of which were pretty good, some of which sucked pretty bad, but uh, this one looks a little bit more promising. It's called Downstairs. It's an award-winning horror short film. It doesn't really say much for me when it says award-winning on them, you know, because it's just people picking what they liked. Then again, that's kind of exactly what I do, just kind of get my opinion on what I like. So I guess, uh, written by Sam and Lee Boxleitner, that's how you say that, so it seems like a, a family-run affair. So yeah, this thing is just covered in film festival credits, so it's got to be something to it, right? Anyway, let's check it out with a one, two, <clears throat> I will say disclaimer at the top of this video that, uh, I tend to, you know, like to give my comments during videos, so if you're not a big fan of that, you can fuck off. <laughs> oh, I hope this is awesome. <laughs> Promising? Well, it's got good production quality. Another promising factor. Let's just hope that the scares and the and the story and acting kind of pull it together, you know. Oh well, someone's not happy. Hey, we used to have those chairs in the kitchen in my parents' house. Just a fun fact. I got this up kind of loud. I want to see if I can't go out. If I get any good jump scares in it. <laughs> yeah, it said it was about a security guard that uh, had to check out what was going on downstairs. That's pretty much it. There'll be a lot of pressure leaning on him, though, if he's the only uh, if he's the only character in this thing. Well, of course I'm gonna go downstairs. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh wow, you must be new, officer. Flip. Been here a couple weeks? <laughs> really? What happened to the, uh, black lady? Rhonda? She's here during the day. Baby, you're being boorish. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm Orfeo, and this is my wife. Are you fucking Jennifer. serious? Love Orfeo? And you're Officer Flip. A lot of sass I'm coming from fucking man bun so, there. Now that we're friends, can I ask you an itsy bitsy little I hate him already. Sure. Yeah, what do you need? I'm working on a piece, Flip. It could be nothing. It could be the start of a series. I don't think Ooh. It's stunning. <laughs> sure it is. Starting with the image of a kitten. His eyes are filled with inquisitiveness. But inquisitiveness. Because the earth is dying. We are dying. Everyone. I'm dying. He's dying. She's dying. Constantly. Aren't you dying? Tonight? I'm dying I'm right now. Curiosity killed the cat. No, it was an 18-wheeler. <laughs> it's because today, when I was painting, I was just about to get to that dying part. When I smelled something dying. And then someone like me it was, it was awful. It was could hear trash. him talking and then went and I broke his damn arm. That's why he's wearing a cast. Just enough trash for the smell to make me completely lose my inspiration. Ugh. For like three hours. Yeah, I hope he dies first. We can't risk losing <laughs> inspiration. Oh no. I am sorry. Okay. Uh, you know what? I remember seeing paper in your can. I do. Um, I don't know if you remember. Uh, last night, toilet in the ladies' room backed up. Somebody put something down there. Ugh. 
It was a real mess. She, she had a real huge booby. I figured, given the small amount of waste in your basket, then maybe I should just wait till tonight to take it out and serve the trash bag. Right? Because let's face it, plastic is one of those reasons the earth is dying. <laughs> Boom! Shots fired! <laughs> Can you at least make sure our door is fucking locked? It was wide open when we got here. Well, now he's got to check on it. Anybody else? <laughs> Did you see that? I swear I saw like a really quick one frame flash of like a close up of a, of a face with like dark filled black eyes. Maybe I'm just going nuts. I love crazy ghost shit. Nice. <laughs> Maybe that chick was worried about uh, the big poop she had in the toilet, so she shot in the garbage instead. <laughs> Did you forget the stick you usually keep up your ass? Hello? Hello? Has anyone ever responded in a movie when someone said that? Fucking vagrants. I knew I saw a chick. Oh, fuck. That's the two things that kind of trip me out in horror movies. Somebody there? It's creepy kids. And the, the ghostly apparitions of chicks. All right, man. I like the ring, you know, when they got that fucking twitchy shit going on. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> the most realistic reaction to, to hear it some shit like that. <laughs> That's what I would have said. Hey, don't you know bad smells are demons? Or really large lady poop. That's why chicks turn on the tap in the bathroom when they're going so that you don't hear the noise that their poop makes when it's coming out. Just <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, Flip. So is this like an asylum or something? All right, kid. I will totally freaking club your ass. Stop fucking around.
I like this guy. There's no one allowed down there. Ah, yeah, well, tough shit. Demon stink. I'm not kidding, man. I will totally fuck you up. <laughs> now, you just come with me up the stairs, out of the dark. I promise. No harm will come to you. It's kind of hard to take threats seriously from a guy with only a mustache. Girl beard. <laughs> Oh, fuck. That got me. <laughs> that got me. That was a cool jump. They didn't even have to... Wow. It's amazing what you can do with just atmosphere. And a little bit of lighting. This is the moment he knew. He fucked up. <laughs> That's not budging, man. <laughs> Gotta accept it. Gotta accept it, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> With the news, yeah. There's gotta be another way out. Ah, see? Gotta accept it. <laughs> All this crap, and then he stepped in shit. It was a fun reveal. I like how they did that instead of trying to, to jump reveal her. Crying in the corner? No. Oh, this is going to be one of the ones that turns fast. I know it's coming and I bet you it scares me too. Oh, just do it already. Oh. <laughs> yep, twice. I got, got twice. See what else they got.
Open the fucking door, just go. He was so likable. So what, they got a new security guard now? That's that artist guy, right? With the broken arm? Shouldn't have said that. Don't worry, my friend. Death is not the end. No! <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Fucking wow. That's what I gotta say about this thing. <laughs> great production quality, great acting, great writing. Uh, oh, fuck, you know, I kinda had my, uh, kinda had my doubts at the beginning, I will be honest, just because, you know, you, they always say that it's like, you know, like award-winning movie, fan festival, this, and fucking blah blah blah, and then it ends up just being some, like, artsy garbage, or whatever. <laughs> this, totally the opposite of what I was thinking. It had a very light-hearted, but also very dark comedy to it. The main guy's security guard was just <laughs> fucking odd point, man. That, that character was written and then portrayed so fucking well. <laughs> he fucking turns around and he's like, What the fuck was that? <laughs> That's like exactly something that I would say. Absolutely, uh, the fucking the douchebag artist. I don't know what was going on with uh, with him at the end. I was actually kind of thinking, oh no, really? Is there something like I don't know tied to this guy? He's like does the dark arts and he, you know got that guy killed because he was pissed at him or something. Then all of a sudden he just the fucking dude pops up behind him. Bam. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I find that it's uh it's really fucking amazing what people can do on uh, such a well, I don't want to say small budget, because I don't really know how much money they got for this thing, but uh, definitely on less of a budget than big blockbuster movies that don't do even half as good of a job with a fucking 90 minutes. They had fucking 17 and a half minutes, and I was like, right off the bat, I liked the, the main character, I understood the, the story behind it, you know, so, you know, somebody died in the basement, and they started killing, you know, more people and collecting spirits, essentially, in this basement. That's what I got from it anyway, but I was definitely, you know, interested in it and invested in the character enough from his, you know, his witty humor and whatever, the writing at the beginning, to understand the, the you know, the motivations and stuff going forward, so then I could just kind of sit along for the ride, and obviously, like, everyone has some sort of, uh, you know, feeling about darkness and the unknown or whatever, so you can obviously attach to that as well and, like, you know, understand his, his fear and frustration. But at the same time, like, them throwing, like, the comedy aspect into this thing just, it just made it much better for me, honestly. Like, if it took itself too seriously, I might have liked it just as much, but not really, I don't know. I think, if anything, there's only one criticism that I could give to this film. 
is that fucking hair bun should have fucking got got first. <laughs> like, you know, he accidentally dropped something down the stairwell and then he got got. You know, it didn't have to have, like, a reveal of the characters or anything. It could have just been, like, uh, walking past a dark doorway and he gets sucked into it, you know, after, like, a section of, like, silence where he stops and he's looking around and just, you know, or just, like, or just, like, kind of, like, ripped out of frame some other way so you get the notion that there's something there. And I already, like, had the notion that there was something there and it was fine as it was. I'm just saying they should have killed the douchebag. <laughs> This fucking <laughs> this is a badass film, and I hope to get to uh, to see something again in the future from them. Anyway, I hope you liked the reaction. If you did, let me know in the comments section. Maybe tell me what you thought about this movie. You can also follow me on uh, Twitter, Instagram. You can go to my Facebook page for more stuff. And of course, I will put a link in the description for all this video, so you can go ahead and watch it for yourself. Full screen, full audio, and get the full experience. And as always, have yourself a fantastic evening.